What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. Our today's video is going to be short and useful. We're going to learn five brief phrases that could stand you in good stead when taking the CAE and CP exams. Are you ready? So let's get into it. The first phrase we're going to learn today is at best. We use it to say what the best thing can happen when the situation is bad. In this case, we take the most optimistic view. En castellano sería en el mejor de los casos. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, I'm running late. I'll be there half an hour late at best. And the second example, I can finish this assignment by Friday at best. Now let's move on to our expression number two, which is in no time. It's level C1 and it means to do something very quickly or very soon. En castellano sería en poco tiempo o en cuestión de segundos. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, it's not a big deal. I can fix this dripping tap in no time. It's not a big deal significa no es para tanto. And the second example, time flies. I can't believe she's graduating from university in no time. The saying time flies is level C2. Now let's look at our expression number three, which is by and large. The pronunciation is long A, large, and it's also level C1. We use this phrase to make a general statement. It's like in general or on the whole. And it's a good linker to use when you want to summarize your speech or, for example, your essay. En castellano sería en general o en líneas generales. And now let's look at two examples with this phrase. The first one, by and large, the advertising campaign was a success. And the second example, it's about me. By and large, I'm satisfied with being self-employed. And now let's move on to our phrase number four, which I like a lot. I think it's super useful. And on top of that, it's level C2. The phrase is at the latest. We use it to emphasize that something must happen or be done by a certain time. En castellano sería a más tardar. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, we have to hand in the project by Tuesday at the latest. The phrase of verb to hand in significa entregar. And the second example, I need this report by tomorrow at the latest. It's a phrase that you could also use at work. And to finish, another C2 phrase, which is on hand. It means to be available and ready to be used if necessary. En castellano sería a mano. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, when I travel, I always have my camera on hand. And the second example, a lot of people feel anxious when they don't have their smartphones on hand. Does it happen to you? So that's it for today's lesson. I hope you found these short and advanced phrases useful. If you did, don't forget to give this video the thumbs up, to subscribe to English Beats, and remember to check out my Instagram account. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!